Oh, hey guys. Today we're going to be doing a quick uh, LCD replacement for an Asus uh, Vivo Book uh, Model C as in Charlie 204E as in Eric, as you can see here. Um, it's a pretty, pretty simple installation. So I just wanted to, this, I just had a client that needed the screen replaced. And as you can see here, it's, it's clearly damaged. Um, so getting back to what needs to be done. Um, if you look at the actual corner of the frame here, you know, you can either try to use a, a pry tool or a pick tool to open it up. But with this model here, it, it's built so cheap and flimsy. You can literally just take your fingernails like what, as you can see here in this picture, which I use my, you know, my thumbnail just, just to open it up. And you just literally run it downwards across to the left and down on the left side. And it, it comes off pretty, pretty basic, as you can see here. Um, there are two screws that's actually uh, located at the at the bottom left, at the bottom right of the screen. And if you look at it here carefully here, um, if you don't want to damage that, that cheap, round plastic piece there I mean I, I would probably recommend getting a, a you know a, a paring knife or something that you could just easily pry it open that's what I end up using myself um, just just to pop it out so that it would stay nice and, and round for for when I'm putting it back on for my client and and you know all you need is just a, a mini star screwdriver for that and it comes off pretty simple and you know if you look at it here I, this is another picture with me removing the uh, the round plastic cover and then just removing the screw with my screwdriver here and if you look very carefully after you use your your thumbnail on your fingernails just to remove the, uh, the the front plastic bezel it comes off very simply you know sometimes if you look at these corners here on other branded laptops sometimes uh, Dell and HP and a few other stupid companies will actually put latch locks on them so that if you try to lift it up it won't come up or unless you just break them or you have to disassemble a part of the bottom case area to be able to unlock the the uh, the special levers or, or these plastic tabs that are actually locked into this part of the hinge itself you know but as for this one here there you don't need to fight with it just lift it straight upwards and it will come off uh, you know w w without any problems at all and once you remove that screen this is what you'll see and if you look carefully on the top left top right bottom left and bottom right of every corner there's a screw there and all you got to do is just remove that, you know, and it's pretty simple. And the one thing I wanted to make note is that, you know, once you've removed the four screws from these corners here, you'll just face the screen onto your keyboard. And this is, you'll see a cable, some a 30 pin cable more to your, your middle left area. And, you know, you'll see exactly the same plastic here. I just use my paring knife to start the score. And then I just end up lifting up the clear plastic tape with my, 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 you know, my fingers. And you'll also see this black tape, which is really good to have because a lot of companies don't use that. They normally just have this plastic seal. And then once you remove that, it doesn't always stick that well. And then you'll have to use additional tape to keep it down. But with this plastic, you know, tape that they actually left there, it actually has a really good stickiness. So you can actually re reuse that to keep your, uh, your 30 pin socket downwards. So just remember not to throw this away. So peel off the clear plastic, you know, you know, tape and then and then just pull that away and then just remove this carefully so that you don't wrinkle up and just keep it at, at, at that nice rectangular piece. And if you look at it here, here, I'll go to this picture here. Before you end up removing the cable, don't pull the cable, because if you look carefully on this picture here, you see from left to right here there's a tab that you have to lift up and all you need to use is use your fingernail and just put it anywhere in the front area here and just lift up the tab and then it should look like this. So once you lift it up, bring it all the way up and then just pull the cable straight away from you and then the, the 30 pin cable will be disconnected from the, the 30 pin socket on the, uh, on your screen. And, uh, you know, so if you look at it here, I actually am I'm, I'm putting in my, my client's new, you know, you just put in the new screen and put in the screws back in and it would be exactly done the same way. So when you're putting in your cable, just do the reverse order. So it's pretty simple. Just just make sure that your teeth does a line up nice and tight here. Put it back in and then push the lever back down to make sure it's in this lock position before you seal up everything. And then put your, you know, put your black tape over this and then your clear tape will go over your black tape in the reverse order. And, you know, just make sure that you do, uh, you know, remove the, uh, the protective film that, uh, you know, a lot of the companies will actually put over their screens, which you see here, there's a yellow tab, just peel it off and remove it from the, the screen itself. 
and you know power it on just to make sure that the you know the laptop you know that the new screen looks good and then once you verified that then you know just make sure you remove the uh, protective film and put in your your, your your front bezel cover again and the one thing I would recommend with this so that you don't end up don't push too too hard with when you're putting the uh, the bezel back in because the screens are very fragile so when you're pushing them back in all of the outer edges don't push them push don't push them inside from the inner edge like here P push them down on the outer edge and it will hold in place and that's the same thing for the bottom here just push it in this area here I noticed if you do it here it won't click into place if you do it about you know uh, close to a quarter of an inch from the top part of this bottom area here it will clip itself in there and and then it goes in really nicely also because the uh, the clamp or the fasteners uh, that latch onto the, the the actual frame of the the screen actually it, it's it's pretty well built even though it's pretty flimsy so so you shouldn't have an issue and the one thing I noticed when you're putting back on the screws um, here I'm gonna flip this well actually I don't really need to so when you're putting back on the two screws that were actually in the bottom left actually no I will flip this for you guys so we'll do it one more time so like this here so as you can see actually I had stood the laptop up with the screen down on the table and I find it much easier for you to put these two screws back in there if you're having a hard time putting them on um, you know so just make sure you just lean it towards your stomach or whatever just make sure it doesn't slide off but you can easily just drop the screws back in the hole and just tighten them back up and I find that with uh, putting the uh, those round plastic the cosmetic part back in there I use my uh, my paring knife just slid them back in there and then just use my other hand to push it down with the flat screwdriver to, to put it back into place you know the, these 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 covers are, are made really crappy and the glue is not really good on them so you know if it doesn't hold on it, it's not you it's just the way the companies make these a lot of times you know uh, if I try to put these back on for my clients even though I'm super careful in removing them they're still really shaded actually you know just re you know you know uh, going back onto these these to cover these holes so so I won't worry so much about them but just put them on gently just tap it down lightly with your flat screwdriver or another tool and it'll go back into place easily and if you you know once you have it all completely sealed what I normally do for my clients here so that they know they're getting a brand new screen and I don't get my fingerprints on the screen I actually put the the protective film back on once the whole assembly is put back together so you know it just it, maybe it's just me it just it looks like more of a professional thing for my clients you know that that I do for them and you know you can pause this at the end also because if you look carefully here this is the actual part number for your a Asus Vivo book uh, C204E model and you can actually get this screen at you know at laptop screens and uh, you know there there there's many locations they have in the US and Canada so um, I think for this screen here I had it express delivery through UPS through laptopscreens.com I think it was about $88 and some change including taxes and shipping for the parts so it wasn't that expensive and I'm pretty sure you guys in the US are paying a lot less than that you know so um, you know not an expensive uh, installation for for my client also I just charge them 50 bucks for this Canadian to do the install for them so I hope that you guys do like the video you know click on the like button and uh, you know thanks for watching have a good day